Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Konye, also known as Ndi Naija. Ja, ja, ja. I want to do an unboxing of this Canon IV mini photo printer. I am working on getting into memory planning, memory planning, memory keeping, which means I would like to print off pictures from my phone. I would also like to take more pictures and then keep them, you know? like old school albums that we used to do. I'm saying old school like it was so long ago. People still do albums, just that these days they do them as photo books. I don't really like to do those automated photo book situation thingies. So, and I like to see my pictures in my planner or my memory planner. So I figured I'd do this. So here is the box that it came in. It's beautiful. It's got a rose gold back. This is lovely. And this is made by Canon. The last one I reviewed was by HP, and that was the Sprocket 2. You can see that video up here in the cards. And I compared it with a Canon, what was it? A Canon Selfie, which is actually right there. I kept the Canon Selfie because I liked the color of it. Oh, let's really get down into this properly. So this is what it came in. It came in this box and the printer itself was in this bag, as you saw. Underneath that, you have a card which shows you how to put the photo paper in. That's step one, charge it. Step two, put the photo paper in. Step three, download the Canon mini print app. You have a small owner's manual here. So it's a help, owner's manual, battery caution, precautions, stuff about the particular model. And then you have the zinc paper. It's two by three, and this is the sticky backed photo paper. This is what the charger looks like. I'm going to charge it now. I'm going to charge it, download the app, and then see how see how it goes okay folks I have done my first test print and I want to show you how this printer normally works according to the instructions you are supposed to put in this blue sticky back paper with the barcode on the bottom So that's the blue paper, the zinc, it's called the zinc smart sheet. Put it down with that facing the bottom and then put the Canon paper directly above it. So I'm going to put two of these to see how that goes. And then you just close it and that's it. This is how you open it. You push down and push, you push down and up when you're closing it push down and slide to the bottom push down and up to open push down slide down to close turn it on from the side until you see the indicator light come on and then you're ready to print I'm going to print the same pictures that I printed from the HP sprocket and the Canon selfie just so we can compare. These are different skin tones and shades of beauty queens. Miss USA, Miss Teen USA, Miss America, Miss Universe, and Miss World. So we can see all the beautiful melanin varieties. So we're going to go to the app, the folder, and then I'm just going to print the, get the picture. I'm not going to do anything else other than um, zoom in so that I can see the whole photo at once slightly it's slightly turned so I'm trying to turn it back or trying to make it as straight as possible and now with this app you can do a whole bunch of things in it you can make it a layout so that you can either print four pictures nine pictures or just one 
you can share, you can download, you can do different things here with your color gradation, put a border around it, or put a um, smiley face or whatever that is. X out of that, and then it's time to print. You see that it's sending the photo to the Canon printer. And it'll come out from right here. Alrighty, printed successfully. This is what the photo photograph looks like. Now, I don't have this on a white background, and this video was initially meant to be a comparison between the Canon IV and the HP Sprocket Studio, but I had some technical difficulties with the studio. So that's going back. I might actually just... I might do a video how to how to ruin your um, Sprocket Studio or how not to use your Sprocket Studio. So this is the Canon Ivy and these are the results. If you want to compare apples to apples with regards to the mini printers, this is what they look like. So if you have a skin tone similar to mine or you're dark skinned, you're African American, you're African, you're black, let's just, yeah, you've got a substantial amount of melanin in your skin these are what these photo printers look like I didn't edit any of these photos I just got it from the internet and printed the HP one has a very a sepia tone to it while this um, Canon I Canon Ivy has is truer to color now the Canon Ivy while it's truer to color it's a little I would say it's a little sharper than the HP Sprocket. You can see there's more smoothness in in the in the shadowing, yeah, in the shadowing of the Sprocket. It's a little smoother. It takes it smooths out the colors well. This is a little sharper. So you just go from A to B sort of like there's no in between. So it looks sharper. Like if you look at the noses of Miss World 2019, you can see the differences there between, and this is very, very close, the differences there between the HP Sprocket and the Canon Ivy. The Canon Ivy is this one on the right, right there. All in all, I'm very pleased with what these look like, and my favorite still is this one, because, I, I mean, look at it. But with the Canon Ivy, you get the double benefit of it being a sticker. So you just open that and then stick it wherever you want. You can get a, a sticker photo cartridge for this and it'll do the same thing. This is the HP Sprocket, similar to this Canon Ivy. You print and then remove the back and then it converts to a sticker. So that's it for my comparisons. I hope this video was helpful for you. Sorry I couldn't get the um, Sprocket Studio to show you the differences between the larger printers. I think I'll try and do that in a different video. So that's, that's for these beauty queens. I want to show you guys what this Canon Ivy did in my test print. This is a photograph of me and my dad that we took uh, two, three years ago. Yeah, maybe almost three years ago. And just, I mean, look at it. There was no editing or anything. The photo is just beautiful. Beautiful, I say. Beautiful. So I love it. I love it. And that's that. Thank you all for watching. Um, hope you subscribe to the video. Oh, I forgot to give you some information about this uh, Canon Ivy. 
So it costs $99 right now on Amazon. The original price is $129, and this is the rose gold version. It weighs about 5.6 ounces. If you buy a bundle, the bundle is $135, slightly under $135, and it gives you 50, a 50-sheet 50 paper pack, a case, and this Canon Ivy, which is a great deal. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.